Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Hosting 101. This video is called How to Upload Your Website to Your Domain. In the last video, I showed you how to associate your domain name with your hosting package. And now I'm gonna show you how to upload your website so people can start checking it out. So the first step, navigate to bradhussey.ca slash resources. Again, it's been updated since the last video and has a few more links. So what you're gonna need is what's called an FTP client. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And the reason why you're gonna need that is because you need a medium in which you can upload your actual files on your computer to your website that's on the internet, your hosting package. So you need something that connects your computer to your host so that you can upload the website's files to your host so that people can start viewing them. So you're gonna to need to get an FTP client. Now there are quite a few really good paid FTP clients and if this is something that you're looking to do professionally or you wanna have, you're, you're dabbling in web design a little bit more or you're starting up blogs or whatever it is, I would suggest investing in an FTP client. They're as low as $5 and up to you know $100 or something like that. There are free options like FileZilla it's a free FTP solution. You could just download it here for Mac or Windows and you can follow along with the same steps because it's going to be the same things you're going to have to input to log in anyway. So there's FileZilla that's free. Or right here on my website, I'm, I include a few links to some FTP clients that I highly recommend. There's one that's called Flow. It's an award-winning, beautiful, fast, and reliable FTP and F SFTP client. SFTP is secure rather than just uh, standard FTP. So if you click on that, it will take you to the Mac App Store. And this is if you have a Mac. Flow is a Mac app. And it's only $4.99. If you download that, that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. And I'll show you how to do that. You can also alternatively use something called Cyberduck. It's uh, a little more expensive. It's $24. $3.99, but it's pretty full-fledged. It's it's got a lot of features. But if you're if you're only looking for a simple FTP client, I would suggest going with Flow. The other option is Coda 2. What it is is an all-in-one code editor um, and FTP client. And I actually use this primarily because I'll code a website, I'll I'll dev it on my computer, and I'll want to upload it live on the server, on the on the domain. And instead of me opening up another app like Flow and then finding the files in my finder, dragging and dropping them in that, I'd like a lot more efficient of a workflow so it's built right into Coda. But I'm gonna show you how it works with Flow. So, like I said before, all FTP clients are pretty similar. You only have to enter the same information anyway to log into your FTP. So I opened up Flow, and this is what you'll see. You'll see something like protocol, server, username, password, initial path, and port. Pretty much every FTP client is going to show you the same options, and these are the only ones that you're going to have to use anyway. To log into your FTP, choose FTP, unless you actually have a secure file transfer protocol set up, but if you don't know what that is, you probably didn't get it, so don't worry about it. Just choose FTP. Server is going to be, it was included in your just host welcome email, but Every website, for the most part, is just going to be FTP dot whatever your website is. So, for example, I'm going to log into the FTP of FTP .bradhussey.ca. Type in your just host username and your just host password. Then you can leave initial path and leave port as well. So, really, all you need is server, username, and password. Very simple. FTP dot your website. Type in your username. Type in your password, and then click connect. So, once you're logged into your FTP, you'll see probably something like this. Um, you're going to want to be inside the public underscore HTML folder. And then within there is where your website will go. So anything within public HTML is where the domain URL will navigate to. So in here, you probably won't have anything. You might have a few default just host files or something. So essentially what you do is upload your website content. So let's say my website content is right here. I created a separate folder called test site. And I'm going to upload my website content in there so I can show you what that looks like. So here's my website. I have my index.html file or the home page. I have an images folder and the styles folder. So this is the website I created for the course PSD to HTML5 and CSS3. The exact website that you can create to in under four hours. 
but we'll talk more about that later. So this is the website. I'm going to drag those files right in here. And that's going to upload those files to bradhussey.ca slash test site. There it is. So there was nothing at bradhussey.ca slash test site before, but since I created a folder called test site within public underscore HTML, I uploaded my website files in the folder test site. And now you can navigate to bradhussey.ca slash test site to view the website. And that's all you have to do. It's incredibly simple. In this case, I created a separate folder within public underscore HTML. What you're probably going to want to do if you want your website at yourwebsite.com, in my case, bradhussey.ca, you just have to upload your website files right within public underscore HTML. So then you can navigate to yourwebsite.com and then it'll be right there rather than in a subdirectory like test site. So that's it. Really simply, I'll just go over what we did. So I went to bradhussey.ca slash resources. I downloaded an FTP client. Alternatively, you can use FileZilla, which is free. I would recommend any of these options right here, more specifically Coda or Flow. I opened up Flow, choose the FTP protocol. The server will be ftp.yourwebsite.com or .ca.me, whatever it is. Type in your username and your password. The username is your just host or your hosting packages username. And same with your password. Click connect. You will then log into your FTP. If you're right in the root, you'll see something like public underscore HTML. Navigate into that. All you have to do is drag and drop your website files right in to the public underscore HTML folder. In my case, I created a new folder called the test site and I dragged those files right in there and then I navigated to my website slash test site and there it is. So that's how you upload your website into an FTP client so that people can view your website on the internet and it's pretty much the same process with every FTP client whether it's Coda, Cyberduck, Flow, FileZilla, doing it right on the web within your just host control panel it's all the same so that's how you do that in the next video i'm going to show you how to set up a wordpress blog and write your first blog post in under five minutes so i look forward to seeing you there